Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Watch Horn Range. We took last week off due to weather, and I was a little sick. I'm still fighting the uh, the Megatron variant of COVID, so maybe it's just allergies. I don't know. I got something. I'm calling it the Megatron. Anyway, uh, so I found this helmet on Wish, and they advertised it as... Uh, level 3A, so it'll stop up to like 44 mag, but as we already know from other wish.com uh, body armor, generally not what it claims to be. And I found this very authentic Spartan helmet. They sell them in truck stops, so I went ahead and grabbed one. We're going to find out if it'll stop a bullet, too. So, fortunately, we got Long Neck Linda still. She's, she's had a rough life. But, from what I hear, according to Waddell, Long Neck Linda here likes it rough. So, she's going to volunteer to wear our goofy helmets while we shoot them with progressively larger calibers, as is tradition. So... We'll start out with the Wish helmet, then we'll switch over to the Spartan helmet, see how it goes. We are starting out with the Ruger Mark III 22 long rifle, shooting CCI mini mags. Seems like that one took a wicked bounce. It skimmed right off the top. Dented it just a little bit. Uh, I'll call it a pass. Even though I shot it high. Let's step it up a notch. Using the CZ P10C and Blazer 115 grain full metal jacket. Here we go. I'm waiting on you. Oh! Oh! What do you think? Nine millimeter, did it go through? No. No? Oh, it went through. <laughs> Domed it. And... Got a nice bulge. Well, okay, that's a really small bulge. But, uh, I mean, technically she would have lived because, well, until the ricochet back. It's all right. That's all right. It's just Linda. 45. I want to go through the backside. My two world wars. And if Russia don't calm down, it's going to be three world wars. Using, what do we got? Uh, federal 230 grain full metal jacket. And of course, the most ridiculous 16 inch barrel you've ever seen. I love it. All right, Federal 230 grain. Is, is it going through the helmet like nine? Yes. It is? I don't know. It's 45 ACP. It's going to blow through the backside too. Alright, it's in. It's in. Here we go. Unless I missed. Did I miss? Oh, God. There we got a hit. So, went in obviously right here. Came out right there. Oh. We'll go ahead and turn it to the side so, so we got some freshness to work with. And we'll use 
five seven by twenty eight. The Ruger five seven by twenty eight with some forty grain Federal full metal jacket. What do you think? Is it going through? Yeah. I think it's going through both sides. This thing's super fast. Well, definitely hit it, and it blew straight through. But I think I had it tilted too much, and uh, missed the other side. We're gonna adjust Linda here. There we go. One more caliber that I'm gonna try. I think you know what it is. It's definitely time to whip out ugh, my eight inches. Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum. I'm sticking with Federal Ammo. It's a 325 grain fusion bullet. I think this is going to take her head clean off. Whew. Oh, this is a beauty. Definitely hit. Got a nice entrance right there. And an exit. <laughs> Oh, Linda, you poor girl. Let's go ahead and get this off of you. Oh. So, uh, again, wish. Oh, man, her hair is embedded. Oh, nasty. It is definitely not level 3A wish. Oh, man. Time for the Spartan helmet. Guns and ammo as earlier with the uh, Wish helmet that failed miserably. Going at the Spartan helmet. I'm hoping we have better results. Let's make it happen. Oh! Oh, it stopped it. Stopped 22. Wow. The truck stop helmet doing better than wish. Woo. You, you got to love how this thing changes color in different lighting. Now that the sun's behind the shed. I love that. All right. Nine millimeter at the Spartan. <laughs> so you'd need to be wearing some eye protection for sure. We'll just, we'll just do that right there. Maybe that'll help. Oh, Linda, come on. Work with me, lady. There we go. All right. Uh, I don't, one more time with nine millimeter. There's a hit. I think I'm shooting through the eye hole. Because, yeah, there's a couple bulges right there. Yep. So, how about we just do that? What do you think? That? Or, or keep going high on it? No, turn it around. Looks way less cool this way. Nope. Nope. Linda's struggling. 45 on the helmet. Oh, oh man. Uh, well, I mean, it's 45 ACP. What do you expect? But it didn't come out the back. Good night. Come on, Linda, get up here. And there's our 45 right there. Hot potato. We'll set that down. Moving on.
Back with the Ruger. Here we go. I don't know if I'm hitting it or not. There we go. Well, the problem is, is it wasn't moving. So I just kept shooting. Uh, yeah, it definitely went through. But not out the back. Yeah, so one layer, easily. I wonder, I wonder what that 500 would do up close. Like if I stand like this far away and like aim right here. I think we should try it. It's in the name of science. Back with the 500 at about 10 feet. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. I love this thing. Perfect shot for it. It turns out I just needed to be 10 feet away. So there's our front hit. About as close to between the eyes as you can be. And there's our hole out the back. Oh my god. Nice. Nice. I don't know. Uh, the Spartan helmets. About the same thickness. Maybe, uh, maybe if you're worried about protecting your melon just by a real ballistic helmet and don't trust wish or truck stop helmets, you're not going to make it. That's it for today. We got a bunch, a bunch of exciting things coming up. So stay tuned. Um, going to be some very fun videos coming up here in the next couple weeks. Get excited. We'll catch you next time.